Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and welcome back to Be Happy! Yep, that's right, we're playing more Be Happy, which is the awesome modded uh, Skyblock mod pack in the FTB thing that I found, and it looks so super great. We're still checking it out, still early on. Let's pop into here, you can see what I made. Look! I made a cobble gen. It's not the prettiest cobble gen I've ever made, but it's a cobble gen nonetheless. You may also notice something else. <sighs> my inventory is pretty much empty. And uh, this thing is here. I died. I died. How did I die, you may ask? Well, I put a hole in the bottom of my cobble gen, and then I fell through that hole. Uh, luckily, all I had on me were my tools, uh, so all the stuff that I've gathered so far, uh, I gathered a full stack of cobblestone, and I've got a good chunk of both types of wood, so we can definitely move forward in our quests. Uh, I also have been letting this thing run. Uh, it's 85%, oh no, is it gonna be nighttime soon? Ugh, this won't work at nighttime. I was hoping I could show you guys what this looks like to finish, but now it's going to stop. So I'm going to have to wait until morning for these bees to finish, which sucks. And if it starts raining, game over, y'all. Game over. That was what happened to me before, so I was only able to do it once, but here's what I got out of it. I got two extra forest drones and two honeycombs. I haven't run it with the Rocky Princesses, but my experience with... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A little something in my throat there. My experience with bees in the past uh, has shown that Rocky drones uh, produce... Um, drones at a rate of one to one, so they don't produce extra. So I think that in the uh, in this thing when it was saying like, but some of them don't. Um, those are the ones that they're talking about. Uh, I but I made a pattern chest so I could put my patterns in there, uh, and then I can now use this thing to build parts. So I'm going to show you guys how to use Tinker's stuff in order to make things because we need to remake all of my stuff. It's great. So you guys probably already know this if you've played any mod in Minecraft, but if you don't, uh, here's how you use some Tinker's construct to make some items, and these. Items Items do end up being better in the long run, so uh, it is worth it. So you first start and you make, here I'll actually make some for you so we can go through the whole process. You'll start with some blank patterns, okay? So you take those blank patterns, all right, and you put those into this stencil table, which is one of the Tinker's Contract things. Then you can pick any of these over here on the side and create a stencil for that. Let's go ahead and create a shovel head stencil since we don't have one yet. Uh, there's also a hoe that we could do probably. Um, so I make that and it's good to go. Uh, don't worry, as soon as you click one of these, it does not automatically make it for you. So you can see I can click through it and it'll change what it is over there. All right, so I go in here. I've already got the pickaxe head. And since I have the pattern chest next to the, uh, what is this, the part builder, uh, it allows for me to access it directly from here. So you can see I got my pickaxe head and my tool rod pattern. What do I do with these, you may ask? Well, if I pop cobblestone in there, boom, I get myself a stone pickaxe head. If I pop a stick in there, boom, I get a tool rod. I also need to make a tool binding, which I think I can make with a stick. Yes, tool binding. And I'm gonna actually need to make one more of those. Okay, and I got my stick. And I'm gonna need, oh, I actually don't need another tool binding now that I think about it. That's fine, that's fine. So let's do this. And then where is my this? Okay, let's make a cobblestone head there and let's make another wooden stick. Okay, cool. I forgot that the uh, axes don't need them. So now I've got all my parts. What do I do with those parts, you may ask? Well, we go over to the tool station. We pick the thing we want to make. So here we're going to make a pickaxe. We put the pieces together over here. Bish bash bosh, you got yourself a stone pickaxe. And then we're going to make this axe. We put and then bam, and then boom, stone hatchet. Perfect. How do I make a mattock? I should probably make one of those. That's the stone shovel head with the axe head. Honestly, I could make that now, couldn't I? Maybe I should do that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's do that again. Boom. Grab this guy. Grab this guy. And then we needed a tool rod. Take the tool rod, keep the stick. Uh, and let's put that together. Nope, not in you, in you. So we grab you and we say... Wooden that, and stone that, and stone that, and we got ourselves a stone mattock. Much better than this axe. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and see ya! Uh, and we're good to go. Cool. Okay, so, let's put... We're running out of way space in here, so I'm gonna have to start getting some uh, um, storage going on here in the near future. Boom, let's do that. So at least we got a little bit more space for now. Let's organize. Um... And let's put this away, and okay, I think we're good. So, let's, I'm gonna take half of this away just in case again, because you know. Uh, let's go ahead and we have one quest with unclaimed rewards. So let's get back into our question and see where we are at. Click here to start. 
Uh, click here to show quests. Back to basics. I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's the one where we needed to gather some more wood. So now I can get my sawmill, redstone furnace, and pulverizer. Oh, this is going to be great. Uh, let's see. Now you have wooden cobblestone. What you really need is machines. With the war from this quest, you can get gravel and sand and then use it to get some glass. That's right. We talked about that last time. Boom! Claim that reward. We got some machines now. This is great, but it's also worrisome. I got to think about where I want to put these and how I want to organize this because we are getting so cramped up in here. Um, how much cobble do I have left? I have 60 cobble total. Uh, let's go through these quests a little bit more. I'm just going to go ahead and put these down for now. We'll worry about those in a second. For now... What? Oh, that's right, because it's nighttime. I was like, why aren't y'all growing? I had to... Um, Frankenstein this area a little bit more. I was worried I was going to screw up my water source, so I created a second one. It's all a mess. Within a couple of episodes, we're definitely going to be um, like wiping all this clean, starting from scratch, and we'll build something nice and pretty. Um, well, since this is already up, let me go and chop this down. With these trees, you kind of are at the mercy of when they want to grow, and then you just kind of go at them when you can. Um, okay, let's do this. Uh, and I believe just the pit or Maddock, Pitock, Maddock, the Maddock. Does that also work as a hoe? It might. Let me see. It does. That's so cool. So it's also a hoe. Um, I should have some more, yeah, some more saplings. Uh, I did grow a couple jungle trees. As you can see, I have the, um, a bunch of saplings for those as well. And on those, I was able to, where is it? I cultivated some cocoa beans as well, which you can farm with the watering can, which is really great. Uh, okay, so moving on to quests again. Uh, we did that one. Now, the builder's wand. Aha, the cobblestone. Manual submit. Claim reward. Awesome. So now we're going to have the Builder's Wand, which is great because mostly because the Builder's Wand will allow us to quickly expand our um, platform. Ah, the Igneous Extruder. That's what I want. What do I need? I need 16 gravel in order to get the Igneous Extruder. Once we have that, this thing, useless. Doesn't even matter. So let's just go ahead and hook up. What do we have? Redstone Furnace. Pulverizer. We'll hook up the Pulverizer real fast. And now you can pick these things up with... Um, pickaxes so for now it'll be fine to do like this um later on i will want to have them organized in a more like kind of coherent fashion but right now beggars can't be choosers okay so we got rf going up in here what do we need for the pulverizer we're going to put some cobble in there and i think that that should give us gravel on the other side let's see why does it have two symbols what's this simple mean does that lead to this let's see or does that just mean it's getting up to speed? I think that just means it's getting up to speed. So now we got sand. But I want gravel. Why are you making me sand? Shoot. Okay, so the pulverizer is making us sand. How do we get gravel then from this? Or am I missing something? Honestly, you can get a lot of cobble with this machine. But first, get some from your cobblestone generator and process it to get sand, gravel, and glass. Then you can trade it in for the igneous extruder as compensation for your efforts. Okay, so maybe it's... This one gives me sand. Then the... Maybe the um, sawmill will give me gravel? I've only ever used, like, the pulverizer before. I don't think I've ever used the sawmill before up until recently. Very recently. Cool. Just wanted to make sure it was facing the right way. And we'll get this. And we'll do this. Okay, so now if I grab... Take another... We'll take half of that again. Okay, and we'll put that in there. No, yeah, that didn't do anything. What, do I, what happens if I put saw, uh, wood in there? Okay, that gives me a lot of planks. A lot more planks than I would get before. And sawdust. Okay, cool. Ah, gravel is a byproduct. Gotcha. So, hmm. Configuration. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. Disabled. Augmentation. So you can add augments. That's cool. Info. Tutorial. Let's see. Huh. So then maybe do I just need to keep putting it in until I get 16 gravel? Jeez, that's a lot. Well, let's go ahead for now and do that. Um, I'm going to sit back a little, actually, you know what, real quick, let's be safe, don't lose important stuff if you don't have to, let's go ahead and get some of this on, I mean, we might as well, if we have the access to the thing, right, so that's getting us some, yep, and, uh, looks like I'll probably have to end up mining a lot of this stuff, so as you can see, it works mediocrely, this is not a great, um, cobble gen, but knowing that we just have to get enough to get 16 gravel and then we've got an igneous extruder Which will basically do this job for us faster more efficiently perfectly um, I'm not that worried about it. So I'm gonna sit here and do this for a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to th oh and it's raining It's raining great. How are you doing? Still at 85% sun's coming up, but it's raining <sighs> All right, give me one second here. I am going to do this first. Let's get rid of my um, waypoint there, and, uh, well, 
Honda's going to keep working at this. I think it might be one of those times where I'm going to have to um, step away for a bit and uh, have you guys come back once I've gathered up the proper materials and once the rain has stopped. And uh, we'll move on to the next part. So I will see y'all in just a moment. All right, and we are back, and as you can see, we've got ourselves our 16 gravel that we need. I'm going to leave this machine running with the rest of the cobble that we have, since we're going to be able to get a gen anyway, so it's going to be fine. Uh, you'll see that, let's see, I have 56 glass. I have, how much total do I have of this stuff? So, it took quite a bit of time to uh, get those 16 gravel from this pulverizer, but it did work, so that's good. Um, so, now what we want to do is let's go into our quest book and let's uh, manual submit. Got those. Oh, now it wants sand too. Well, we've got plenty of sand. How much sand do you want? Because we got plenty of sand. 16, manual submit. You want some glass? We got plenty of glass. Perfect. Let's do that. Manual submit. Rewards, claim reward. Awesome! Awesome! Cool. All right, it says, oh, it says Igneous Extruder Basic. What's the difference between this? Hmm, mixes hot and cold fluids. Uh, all right, so this one I don't think should need power. This one you should be able to put pretty much anywhere. Um, I'll put it right here for now, and then we'll, we'll move it around later on as we need to. Yeah, cobble, stone, or obsidian. So first things first, where's our bucket? Hello, bouquet. Let's go over here. Let's grab you. Oh, look, wood. We'll deal with that in a second. Okay, put that in there. So we should have, yeah, water on one side, and then we'll take, oh, that's right. We don't need to take that lava because we can take this lava real quick. So that in there. How you doing? Infinite cobble. This is the best thing ever. This is the greatest invention of all time. Uh, the other thing, while we let that thing heat up and do its thing, I wonder, does it benefit from having multiple, for, from having a full tank? Let's see. Because now I've added more lava. Let me fill it up with water. I don't think it does. So this is probably pretty useless. But I'm going to do this anyways because I can. This thing generates us lava anyways. Uh, and that'll be done in a second anyway. Okay, cool. Um, so we also got this done. All right, so as you can see, we gained two meadow drones, two honeycomb, and we got our pristine meadow princess back. Now, what's great about these pristine bees uh, is they shouldn't die um, over time. Other queens that you find that are not pristine, they kind of have like a lifespan, and then, um, then they're gone, and then you have to go find new queens, which is tough. Um, so I think we're going to be good to go ahead and move on from this part of the quest. So let me go ahead and pick this guy up. Do, 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 do. Thank you. And we'll get rid of this guy. Put that back in the chest. Like I said, I know things are a mess. We will fix that in a little bit. No worries. Uh, in a couple episodes. I put down our redstone furnace, by the way. Um, and then you can see I've also done a little bit of sawing. So that's why we have a good amount of uh, planks in here. And a little bit of sawdust. So all that stuff is going to be useful to us in a little bit. Um, let me put the bucket away. I don't want to lose that. Uh, like I said, after dying that one time, I'm super paranoid now that I'm just going to die all the time. How are we doing on food? I do need to really start growing food a little bit more um, excessively. Um, let's put down a variety of things real fast. So we do have different kinds of seeds, right? So we got carrot seeds. Let's put down some carrots. Get those growing as well. Get a little bit of variety. Plus, now that we have our furnace thing, we can cook those up. It's a little bit better than uh, wheat, in my opinion. Um, but let's go ahead and let's just do some bee stuff for right now. So let's get through these quests. What do we got? Oh, my gosh. Laborand samples. La labware and... <laughs> Oh, I'm such a dork. I'm sitting here like, lab wow, yeah. it's labware and samples. Just, there's a space there that doesn't seem to be there. Temporary quest and nether. There's let's start breeding, and then there's all these. I'd like to get through these uh, and do a little bit of stuff with these before we move on to actually breeding. So let's just go through these right now and see what they do. So, mutations. Uh, if I manual submit, okay. So that was 100% on the industrial library. Uh, claim our reward here. We've got another Meadows Princess and some Rocky Drones. Cool. Uh, and then let's read what it says. Mutatron. The machine needs a princess and a drone, and the result will appear below. Sometimes multiple bees will appear. Oh, wait. Back up. Once you have some spare bees, you can mutate them. You can do this by yourself, but it will take a lot of time since it randomly mixes the aspects of the bees. For example, Meadows plus Rocky equals common, aka what they just gave us, Meadows plus Rocky. Manually, it could take many generations to get the active and inactive states to both be common. So, after you turn in the industrial apiary, use these two new machines to mutate the beads. Put them side by side, and the mutagen producer will auto-output to the advanced mutatron. Uh, put redstone in the mutagen producer and put the bees in the advanced mutatron. Okay, so put these guys in the mutatron producer, in this guy, and then put these guys in the mutatron. Oh, mutagen and mutatron. Gotcha. Um, 
The machine needs a princess and a drone, and the result will appear below. Sometimes multiple bees will appear, but in this case, you will only get a common queen. Put the labware in two and choose the common queen. Okay, so, um, let me just bust through you real quick, just to always be doing these things. It's like, it's, you know, it's farming, right? You just always, you know, tend to it, and then get back to what you're doing. Okay, um, do, 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 do. actually, you know what? Let's grow another, uh, jungle. We got a good amount of oak. Let's do a jungle. Uh, and I'm not going to build anything this episode uh, out of wood for like a house or anything like that. What I want to have is like a cobblestone base, which we'll be able to get. Yeah, our igneous extruder is already getting full. That's awesome. Um, so I just need to be siphoning that off a little bit. Honestly, I need to have like a barrel or something that this... Can we make java barrels? Do, 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 do. All right, I'll be doing that in a moment. But first things first, let's work on this. Okay, so mutagen producer and the advanced mutatron. Uh, give me these. Let us, man, we're getting so cramped up in here already. I'm gonna have to deal with this. All right, let's, um, you know what, I can just put them like right here. Producer, Tron, right? Both getting energy, both getting energy. Yeah, you're good, okay. So this guy we're supposed to put redstone into. They hold five million RF. It's gonna drain my whole heart and cell. Um, that's fine though. Uh, okay, and then this guy is where I put the bees. So if I go like this, empty. Okay, why did that, did it take it? The first one disappeared. Oh, okay, so it's starting to slowly work. Okay, crap, I probably need to do this then. Put you in there, put you in there. Oh, it just works! Common queen, genetic slabware. If I put that in there, is that, that does something apparently? I don't fully understand what just happened, but I can select this, and it'll give me that. Um, hmm. All right, well, then I'm going to take that back. So that just worked? I just get it? Oh, no, it's going through the process. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, that's insane. All right, so this thing is empty. So I guess this, once this gets complete, it will probably eject into there, and that will start this process. And I don't know what these do. The genetics lab. Like, I don't get the purpose of those. Do they boost it or something? I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. All right. Well, while we wait for that, let's check the recipe on the better barrel. Um, let's see. Wood, chest, ebony wood slabs. Do, 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 or not ebony wood slabs, just wood slabs. Um, let's get a chest, some wood. Let's make some slabs. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Get this and this and that. And, oh, build the chest first. Okay, so we put a chest in the middle, we put oak all around like that, and then we put a little on top, and we got ourselves a better barrel. Okay, so if I just place this here, will that work? Uh, maybe? No? Don't want to work, huh? Where's my configuration? Or does it not have one in this? Does it not auto eject? What if I, what if I do that? Anything? Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to, it doesn't seem to be that way to mess with the, usually you get a way to mess with the um, configuration. So it'll output to specific areas and stuff like that. I'm not seeing that. And I'm realizing that like my HUD's all screwed up now too. Oh boy, mods, mods. Okay, well, I can still put the stuff in there for now. Maybe I can get, can I make a little pipe maybe? Let's look for a transport pipe real quick. Can I make a, I'm gonna need, it might just be iron. I might need a wooden one as well. Or not iron, um, stone pipes. Okay, let's just try and make real quick. Give me these, give me these. Let's really quickly make, um, some pipes and just see if these want to work. So, oh, those don't even connect, huh? All right, so then what if I grab some wood and make a wooden one? Am I gonna have to make a pump as well? I know that's a thing. Sorry to get sidetracked. Uh, sometimes I get really obsessive with these things. Okay, that one didn't attach either. Can I set, <sighs> there's no way to set the actual, hmm, that's so weird. All right, what about here? All right, that one worked. What if I put stone there? No. Oh, that's right, that, that's, there's that chest there, I forgot. Will that work? 
Will that start pumping out? No. It didn't. Okay, um... I forgot that there's totally that chest right there. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Because I put it right next to the other one is the thing. So I kind of put it in the worst possible place. Um, let's try this. What are you... Why are you touching... Uh, uh, okay. Machines, man. Machines are messing with me. Let's see if uh, that'll pump out. No, all right. So I need to pump if I'm going to do any of that. Okay, well... Guess we'll just have to be monitoring this for a little while. Unless, like, I find that so odd. It should just eject out to the side and go in there. It's so odd. Okay, what's next? What, uh, boop, boop. What else do we have? Do, 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 do. Quest wise, we'll hold on to all that stuff that we can do while we wait for that thing to work. Uh, actually, have you worked yet? You've got mutagen, 900 of 10,000 millibuckets. Can we take you yet? No, because we're still waiting for this to appear. So click to see recipes. It needs a thousand mutagen to work. So I think one redstone block gave us 900. We're just waiting on that last little bit and then we'll be able to see what happens there. Cool. What other quests do we have coming around the corner that we could check out? Let's look at these quests. Um, this one wants just a bunch of cobblestone. It'll give us a ton of labware and gene samples. Um, this one wants to go to the nether, obviously. Um, temporary quest needs short mead bucket. You probably notice that the three augments are not augments. Exchange them here. This is just temporary until I find out what the problem is. Sorry. What? So this is... Wait. <laughs> is that for this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw those earlier and I was like, what are those things? Okay. Oh! Oh! I see. And then it's going to give me these. Um, integrated modular framework, integrated servo mechanism. Oh my god. That's... <sighs> Manual Smith. <laughs> so let's see if this works now. Augmentations. Shift. Do this. And do this. Now it's ejecting properly. Right? Yep. Okay. That's what it needed. So now it's probably going faster. That's why. Okay. So I was sitting there trying to solve a problem that couldn't be solved because it needed augments that I had no idea existed. Cool. What about you? Uh, if I get a bunch of cobblestone, this thing will give me a whole bunch of bees. Okay. It'll start giving me the stuff so I can make my own bees. All right. That's going to be our, <laughs> it's going to be our main goal of the next episode. 88% uh, on that. We're almost done with this guy because I, I really want to get through these. Whoa, what was that noise? Did you hear that? thought I heard something. Um, I really want to get through these things today, like this line of quests, or at least most of them. I mean, gosh, we're not even going to finish all these. We barely have enough time to finish this one. These things take so much time, but that's fine. Uh, these suckers haven't been growing at all, have they? While we're waiting, let's go ahead and do a little bit of watering of our plants. See if we can't get these carrots to grow, please. Could y'all grow, please? Let's just get a little bit of food going. Yeah? I wonder if I'll get any extra here so I can plant more, huh? Gimme, gimme, gimme. It won't let me right click to take it. Come on. Why aren't you... Do I have to punch it? I guess... Uh, okay. In this one, you can't do the right click to grab those. You can grab these, which is interesting, but you can't grab it with carrots. Hmm. Hmm. I sound like a villager there. Hmm. All right. Did that 100%. Now it's happening. Boom. Okay. They were consumed. Wow. They were consumed. And they gave us a common queen. Wow. So like that's like... This is sacrifice a drone plus a thing to make a queen. Well, no, I mean, that's not how it normally goes, because now it's a queen, so when I put it in a thing, so that's normal. And then the mutagen, it only used 200, but it needed 1,000, which is weird. Um, interesting. But uh, before these things drain any more energy, uh, let's go ahead and pick them up. Put this guy away. Put you away. Stone pick. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, come here. Do, 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 do. Hey, do, 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 do. Um, so then we can at least regain some of this. Maybe. Anything? Okay, cool. I was like, oh my god, it stopped. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let us check what we get next. And then I guess we'll just be able to start this stuff. And then that's fine because what I can do is, like, because all these things take so much time, I can, um, kind of mix it in there, uh, 
uh, over the time between the next two episodes so that it'll, next time it'll just start with these things done. So now you have a common queen. If you put it in an apiary, it will start producing combs and spare drones for you. But why? Because bees have characteristics. They can work at night in caves and eat specific types of flowers and have different fertilities. In this case, the common bee has fertility too. You can analyze it with the beelizer. This means that in your breeding, when the bee finishes, it will give you two drones and the princess, of course. If you want to get that characteristic, you'll need a genetic sampler. It will randomly take one of the 13 aspects of the bee, uh, so you have a 1 in 13 chance to get the aspect fertility too. In this quest, just analyze the bee that you get, so you can see all the characteristics that it has, then put it in the gene sampler, and it will give you an aspect of that bee. Don't worry about the aspect that you get. You might get a very good one, or one that is more common. When you start getting more bees, you'll be able to get a massive amount of samples, so you can modify bees to be whatever you want. Okay, oh, I have to give it the common queen. Oh, I wanted to keep it. No, so you're just teaching me. Rude, I wanted it. Um, okay. Beelizer, honey drop, diligent drone genetic sample collection. Okay, let's grab this. Let's just quickly try this out. It might be doable. Um, okay, so plop you down. Let's grab our beelizer. Okay, so here's how a beelizer works. It takes honey to power, and then you pop your bee into... Right? No, I just threw that. It's bad. Where do I pop the bee? Oh, it's here? There you go. Okay, cool. So we now know that this thing, there's the fertility 2x. These are, um, there's some good stats on here. I mean, I'd want 4x or something, honestly, sometimes. Uh, okay, so we'll take you. Now let's, we've got our machine. Okay. Uh, I assume I put you in here. And I put these tools in here. I guess that, maybe that just boosts what this does. That must be what those do. And then I do that. Okay, so that's this, that's much quicker. All right, so this one we can get through, no problem. Um, and then this will give us a random aspect. Does it consume the bee, I wonder? This is all very interesting stuff. There, there's a lot of this stuff I've never messed with before with bees. I never mess with the machines. I always just do it the old-fashioned way. I'm weird like that. Did this run out of lava? Or did I just never get a fourth? I just never put a fourth one in. That's right. All right how are we doing over here? Five times 64. See this? See this? That's great. I'm actually going to get a whole stack up in here, pulverizing away. I know we probably don't have the power to power all these things, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'd like to get some more of these solar panels if I can. I need to look into what, how do you make those? I know it's going to be a while before we can make any more, I'm sure. Recipe. Photovoltaic cells, which are lapis and mirrors. What's a mirror? It's glass and iron. Is this special glass or is it just glass? I think it's just glass. Um, regular solar panels take mirrors, wood, and redstone. So those are fairly easy. Then you have to start adding other things in. What is this? Solar panel two is a redstone reception coil and oh, and eight of those, my goodness. These take photovoltaic cells, these take, okay. So they just gets, it gets more and more epic and then they'll give you higher capacity. All right, that makes sense. All right, we got our thing. Uh, lifespan short, it's definitely not the one you want. Um, give me this back. Let's check this quest, see what we got. Okay, man, this episode's going long. Um, okay, uh, back it up, go to here. All right, now this next quest creates a mutation. Once you turn in the genetic analyzer, it will give you all the things you need. You notice that the template is empty. Combine it with the sample that I've just given you, not the one from the earlier quest, and you will see that it now displays one of 13 chromosomes and it's fertility four. Now I give you an analyzed bee. You can check it in the beelizer without honey. All right, let me just go ahead and claim all this stuff because it's already analyzed. You will see that it only has fertility one. Uh, use the genetic imprinter to combine this bee with the fertility four template and see the result. Okay, so we take the beelizer, we look at this drone that it just gave us and we say, hmm, what do you got? Yeah, you got fertility one, it's not so great, but we got a little thing for uh, fertility four, which is great. We have a genetic template, which is blank. Gene samples can be added. Okay, so if I grab you, plop you down where all the power is, uh, go into here. All right, so I need to put down my genetic labware. I guess I need a blank template in order for this thing to work. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How do I combine these things? Okay, I was being a dingus. You just put it in your crafting table. Okay, uh, so there we go. One of 13 chromosomes, fertility four. Uh, so that gave us blank gene sample. Okay, so we get these things back, and then we get the genetic template. So then I take the genetic template, I put that in here, I put the drone in there. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Okay, uh, and then let's see. We have one last one, finish the basics to bees. Gives us a chunk loader once we turn all this stuff in. So that's great, because we can talk about what that's gonna do um, while we uh, 
wait for that other thing to do, and then we'll just finish that up in the next episode. So, um, did you analyze the bee? Did you see that the fertility changed? That's it! This is very simple. You can have a gigantic setup to collect samples and produce your own bees. If you want to learn how to use these machines to get your own bees, watch a Jindustry Spotlight. If you want to learn how to use the machines, oh, whoops. If you want to breed them the old-fashioned way, watch a Forestry Spotlight. I hope you learn how to work with bees, and I hope you like this mod pack. I know that you want to keep all the good things that I gave to you, but these quests were only the tutorial. Complete some more quests here, and in Chapter 2, to get these items again. Thank you. All right, cool. So we will finish out this quest. We'll let this thing do its thing. And oh my gosh, it's draining power faster than it can use it. And oh, that's a problem. Um, none of these are else are using power. Okay, cool. Well, I'll figure that thing out. But for now, we will say, uh, oh, hello. All right, y'all. So uh, thank you all for watching. Oh, we got some trees we got to deal with. It's going to be great. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing Be Happy. But uh, with that, my name has been Price. And uh, oh, Oh, gosh, I've fallen into my thing. I'm going to kill myself again. That's horrible. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. If you like yourself, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. And with that, my name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time.